everyone, uh, Olive Grummer here, and I just finished reacting to um, Dragon Ball Super episode 130. I'm, oh god, I still need to calm down. I'm still way too hyped for that. Um, as you can tell, I'm doing this live right here. Here's live chat. Here's our live donation goal. And here is the social media. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. <clears throat> Um, Jojo, that's a great, great rating. I love it. Um, so yeah, go ahead and make sure you subscribe and tune in for the live stream and live discussion because next week is the last episode and then I will do a, um, a live discussion with you guys on the conclusion of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, the Tournament of Power and Dragon Ball Super as a whole. Uh, Javo, spoiler, you shouldn't have said that. Spoiler, uh, that you killed Jiren's parents. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why you told them so early. But, um, okay, so what I'm going to do is start off by saying I still think this was the second, I don't, actually, I don't know, uh, was it a 95 to 100 best episode ever? I don't know if I'm going to consider it better than Gohan versus Goku. I'm very biased, but the ending of this episode was amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, let me just get down into the nitty gritty. First of all, the animation itself was fantastic. There were a couple scenes where I was like, I noticed that, I noticed this, but overall animation was absolutely fantastic. Some of the best in the entire episode, it's, or entire series itself. <clears throat> um, some other things, the orchestra, the music, the way they played everything out, even though it's the same songs over and over again, they place them in the perfect positions. Uh, they started out guns blazing. They started out with the Ultra Instinct song, uh, and that's when you knew, they were like, okay, this is about to get real now. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was very nice because of... Jojo, <laughs> that made me laugh. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was just really nice, the way they had everything pan out. It was awesome. So we saw Goku basically demolish Jiren. Jiren was like, yo, you know what? All that stuff you fight for, friendship, trust, this, that, blah, blah, blah. It don't, I don't care about that stuff. Um, <clears throat> because you don't need that stuff when you're the strongest. Uh, I mean, I understand where he's coming from. Is it the best thing to do? Obviously not. In this world, we see, um, we see friendship and stuff like that being the ultimate power when it comes to anime in general. Um... But yeah, other than that, it was pretty dope to see how, where his, he comes from, his mentality. And you can kind of see from Topo, I don't think he agrees with it as much. Because once they started discussing, once Universe started discussing with the other Universe, like, look, can't you guys understand, like, we don't really, we don't really fight for the same reasons you guys do. We fight for each other, not ourselves. Um, Top, Topo kind of like, he was like, all right, you know, I have nothing to say. I understand. Um... So yeah, it was one of those things where I, I understand where he's coming from, but obviously the power of friendship is going to prevail because it's anime, and that's the main thing about that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let me I'll go ahead and read some comments in a little bit. Let me finish up my train of thought because I will forget. Uh, I really liked the silhouettes when they were doing the flashbacks. I didn't like the flashbacks themselves. I mean, it was cool. It was nice to see that. You had some, uh, you had some I guess... Uh, oh god, what is the word that I'm looking for when you... Nostalgia. It was pretty cool. I like that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, I, I mean, I like the nostalgia, but I just didn't like the flashback because I didn't want to see the flashbacks. I want to see the fighting. But I liked how they did the silhouettes. So that in itself, I'll give it a minus one. So that way it's not a hundred. And I'm doing that on purpose because I don't want it to be a Goku versus Gohan. I'm so biased on that one. Um... <clears throat> Oh gee, I'm texting you in Discord. I cannot check right now. I'm in the middle of recording. Um, so, but yeah, other than that, I think it was pretty cool. Another thing that shocked me was when Jiren was like, yo, all those things you fight for can be easily erased. And then he shot that energy, whatever it was, towards Universe 7. And then Goku flew up there and just hit it out the way. That was dope. Um... <clears throat> But I do believe Zeno or the Grand Priest or somebody like that should have intervened. I was expecting them to disintegrate the, the attack or something like that. I did not expect them to... Um, I did not expect Goku to be the ones to go up there and hit it himself. Uh, so yeah, I do agree that he should have been punished or something like that. <clears throat> oh man, this is going to be a long review because actually a lot happened. 
So basically, let's fast forward a little bit more. They fight, they fight, they fight. Dope animation. That fight was just even better than the original, like the beginning of the, the episode, the first half. I think the second half was way better. I agree with you, Xanax, on that. Second half, way better. Um, so basically, Goku overpowers Jiren. Spoiler alert. Um, what else happened was... Okay, <clears throat> Jiren overpowered, got, got overpowered by Goku. Goku was about to eliminate him. I honestly thought Goku was going to revive him and give him energy. I was going to be very pissed. And then I saw that um, something, something struck Goku. And at first, I thought Frieza betrayed him. Or at first, I thought Jiren got him. And then I thought that um, Frieza betrayed him. And then I was like, okay, wait, no, none of that happened. Um... It is what it is. Uh, or no, Whis was like, yo, the power of the gods or whatever, it took a toll on his body, and I didn't think it would take a toll that that badly. So basically, <clears throat> Jiren's like, all right, whatever, you're down now. I'm about to eliminate you. Um, he blows up the ground underneath him, and Goku starts falling. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot of fire. Um, Goku starts falling, and then all of a sudden, he gets saved by not only Frieza, but the MVP of the tournament, Android 17 himself, who did not kill himself. Dude, that was that was dope. That was dope. That was dope. I'm so excited that 17 is back. I, I'm going to let that one slide because it was a good... Just because of 17. We're going to let all those emojis slide because it was 17. Um... It was, it was amazing. It was wild. I'm so excited for that. Um, <clears throat> Goku's exhausted. Uh, 17 and Frieza are like, well, it looks like we're the only ones left. And Frieza's like, I, I guess so. I guess so. Technically, Javo, he's not, he's not human. So uh, <clears throat> the, second, the second half of the episode was really fine. <laughs> it was. Yeah, that's true. Everything around the, the, the world was... Um, Everything around this stage was on fire. So what I'm about to do now is just kind of break up the super or the preview for the next episode and review a little bit of that um, <clears throat> and give you guys some predictions on the final episode. So um, right now we've got Jiren fighting 17 and Frieza. Frieza's not in golden Frieza form right now. He did pull the sabo. He pulled the sabo. He did pull the sabo. Um, <clears throat> I, dude, 17's the MVP of the tournament, but, um, so yeah, what, what we see here is Frieza and 17 attacking Jiren. Um, Jiren's not powered up, and, um, so neither is Frieza, but he was, Frieza was Golden Frieza when he saved Goku. Um, <clears throat> he's a man, he made babies, he's alive, he's a realist in general all the time. Well... As Android 18, or not Android 18, Android, yeah, Android 18 has babies. Uh, did I lose? Nope, the fight ain't over yet. Jiren's still powering up. Jiren has a massive, massive attack, but <clears throat> Frieza's, Golden Frieza, okay, so I see Golden Frieza here and 17 holding uh, the barrier. So they're saving themselves. Jiren, I think that's Jiren's final, final attack. Um, from what it looks like. Uh, and then you see three blue beams attacking Jiren. Jiren gets hit into the center pole, and then we have Goku flipping into action. And then, okay, <clears throat> right here is the very important part. You see both Zenos and gold and sparkles and stuff like that. What's up, Michael? Um, their entry was crazy. So we see the gold and the sparkles and stuff like that. Um... And then we see, I guess that is, that might be the dragon behind the Grandmaster Priest. It kind of looks, I can kind of see the little scales and stuff like that. Uh, it makes sense if that's the dragon and the Master Priest. Um, so it says the miraculous, yeah, and he turns around and looks up. So that might be the dragon himself. Um, <clears throat> the miraculous conclusion, farewell, Goku, until we meet again. Um, you have Beerus. You have Beerus, Elder Kai, and Supreme Kai in shock. So that might be that might be the end of the tournament. And then you have Jiren powering up and I guess Goku charging at him. So 
Uh, I like I like the preview for the next episode. It didn't show too much, which is fantastic. Notice how when Frieza and Android 17 were holding the barrier, Frieza was golden, but the next shot he is not. Yeah, I was talking about that. Um, so I think it's going to be a progression. I think the last, the final blow will be him, everyone powered up to their max potential and... Um, and just they gotta they just have to survive the final attack and then eliminate Jiren after that. So that's my thoughts on that, Michael. Um, I'm too hyped. Seventeen should just win this fight because he's so dope. Agreed. One bi biological child and two adopted children. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm not gonna lie. Goku needs to be a side character for once. I agree. <clears throat> but yeah, let me go ahead and just say to those in chat, what would you guys rate this episode? Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a quick preview for the next, or my quick thoughts on the next episode. Obviously, Universe Seven uh, survives. Jiren now believes in friendship. He could. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. Um, next episode. I mean, prediction is seven is Universe Seven is gonna win. Um, until Goku, until we see you next time. You know what I mean? Uh, anime gives this a 99 out of 100. Um, some of the other guys gave it the best episode. Is all. <clears throat> Freezing 17 is the dream team. That's a good, that's, dude, I'm so excited. Oh man, this episode was so good. But what I'm going to do now is end the recording, but I'll keep the live stream going. I'm going to give this episode a 98.99. I'm not, I'm not going to, 9 out of 10, so a 90 for this episode. Okay, okay, 120 out of 100. Um, um <clears throat> I don't want to give this episode 100 just because i'm super biased about the goku versus gohan episode but i love how this ended i think the reason why is because the, the beginning wasn't the best um oh man oh god everyone six stars out of five and the entire dead jiren village that's that's a high rating <clears throat> but yeah anyways guys let me go ahead and end this recording thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget i'm gonna keep the live stream going so I'm just going to post the review separate from the live stream. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and end the recording. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, check the links in the description while you watch this on YouTube. And you got to subscribe to watch the um, watch the live discussions and participate. Participate. I said that weird. Participate in the theories that we talk. Um, so remember, guys, I'm not ending the live stream. I'm ending the recording. Bye. <clears throat>